alert tonight. Several strong storms on the verge of being technically severe, but either way, it could be dangerous. Heavy rain. We're going to start east of Raleigh and really from just east of Raleigh out through Wendell and Zebulon kind of splits off a little bit infecting Nashville down to Wilson back over to Clayton and it's slowly moving off to the east on its way into parts of Edgecombe County around Tarboro. Heavy rain, lots of lightning, probably some gusty winds, still the potential to become a severe thunderstorm with damaging winds and hail. We've seen that a little bit already today and we've seen some really heavy rain. Even though the rain is dissipating and moving out, you guys still technically have the flash flood warning for Lillington, parts of Harnett County. That's good news that the rain is moving out because you've got a lot of rain in a short amount of time. Look at the Doppler estimated rainfall amounts. Storm got over you and just kind of sat there. That little red, that bullseye is more than four inches, and a lot of this came in about two hours. So probably some isolated flooding. Please be careful in and around that area. It's not the only thing going on. We've got another cluster of storms up around Durham through Bahama and Durham County. They get a little stronger with some thunder and lightning in Person County, and that's headed for you guys in Roxborough. So heads up there. And last but not least, you guys down in Robbins, northern parts of Moore County, some storms there. And then there's more just to the west. Very powerful storms there headed in your direction. A lot going on on the radar. The one piece of good news I have with you, the first week of August, and I get to show you a temperature map that looks like this. We'll take it in the 70s. Please watch out for the storms, but not in the 90s again today. I've got to start a new graphic with a new streak of how many days in the 80s we've had. We're up to about four or five right now. For tonight, though, we'll get a little bit of a break from the storms. I think we'll have another batch move in late tonight, and then we should be dry by Friday morning. Again, many of us already dropped into the 70s, so we're not going to move all that much cooler as we head into the overnight hours. And we still have that frontal boundary around. We've been talking about this all week. We've been tracking it ever since the hurricane left. was a cold front, then it stopped, so it became a stationary front. It's not going to do anything for our temperatures. It's just destabilizing the atmosphere. And you see all these storms around the mid-Atlantic. They're going to be back again tomorrow. So let's kind of walk through what we expect. First of all, for tonight, we still have that marginal risk of severe weather. Remember, that's a 1 on our 1 to 5 scale. So any of these storms, even though it's getting late in the day, could still produce damaging wind gusts or some small hail. And again, we'll do it again tomorrow. The morning time will start off mostly dry. Can't rule out an isolated rain shower early on. Then most of the morning will be dry and we'll keep it that way through lunchtime. We get into the heating again tomorrow, which we're not expecting to be into the 90s again. So it's going to be hot, but not excessively hot. And then 3 o'clock, a few showers and thunderstorms start to bubble up. More so toward dinner time and the early evening hours. Even late tomorrow night, we'll keep a few scattered showers and storms around. So it's not a washout all day. We could have some heavy downpours. We could have some more severe thunderstorm warnings, although widespread severe weather is not part of the forecast tomorrow. Kind of like today, that's what we got tomorrow. Upper 80s, good 50% chance of scattered showers and storms, mainly the second half of the day. Then that front that's been instigating these showers and storms, that's going to dissipate over the weekend, and so will our rain chances. Those go down to about 20% Saturday and Sunday and our temperatures come up to around 90 degrees. So our 80 degree streak is going to end shortly. We'll keep it mostly dry, mostly hot Monday and Tuesday. And as I step out of the way and we look at your exclusive 10 day forecast, all of next week on the 10 day, you can see a little better rain chance the second half of next week and another streak of temperatures in the upper 80s starts on Thursday.